Ah, bollocks. Okay guys, welcome to a very, very short video. Um, it is only nine minutes long, so it's quite a short video for me. This is just to kind of show you something that's in MAME. Now, it's been in MAME for about a couple of years, I think. Um, I was only recently uh, made aware of this. Um, it's a setting called HS, was it HLSL or something it's called? HLSL I think it is. Now you'll find it in the options uh, under advanced, under the display part in MAME. Now what it actually does is it's a series of kind of settings that you can actually make to the screen um, and it's to try and sort of give that um, original CRT kind of look to it. Now what I've done here is, uh, I know it's not very sort of uh, clear but on the left is your normal MAME, that's how I normally play MAME, super crisp, really vibrant looking. On the right hand side is the one running this HS or HLSL settings. Now some people might think the one on the right, on the right looks washed out. Now you can adjust a multitude of settings, you can adjust gamma, brightness, contrast, there's various settings, you can adjust the red, blue, green, you name it, you can adjust it. Um, now, personally, I think it looks really authentic. The one on the left, yeah, it does look nice and sharp, but that was not how games looked. Now, you need to bear in mind that what you're seeing here is actually on a CRT TV. Eh, sorry, not a CRT TV, I'm talking absolute bollocks. This is on an LCD monitor. So, you know, you would expect it to be super sharp. So the fact that these settings can sort of emulate an old an old school sort of CRT monitor I think is fantastic. So I'm looking forward to kinda of playing about with it. Now there's only one slight downside to this thing. It does require um I'm gonna say a beefy PC. I mean probably a PC that's been made in the last maybe five years would be absolutely fine. I know my arcade cab unfortunately um when I try and set the HLSL settings it runs really slow so I can't actually use it. So this is on the PC but it just gives that, it gives that old school look, it makes it look like it would have in the arcades. I mean, I've only, I'm literally running this from default, um, you can tweak it to your heart's content. I mean, I noticed one game that I was uh, playing earlier on, it looks pretty shit, but if you actually tweak it, you can make individual games look cracking. So, I mean, you can see there, you've got Space Invaders on the left, super sharp on the right hand side. It does look like that's what it would have looked like in the arcade. You could actually see that it was an overlay. The one on the left to me, it just looks too perfect. Um, I mean, it's one of these things that's very much uh, a marmite. You either like it or don't like it. I think it looks excellent. And I'm certainly going to start uh, tweaking the settings to try and get it looking pretty good. So, yeah, that's Space Invaders. Now, you can see here, um, <laughs> again, on the left hand side, Oh, I don't know what's going on here, I seem to pause there. On the left hand side is uh, the normal, whatever it is, it's super sharp, it looks really nice. But on the right hand side, it looks like that Street Fighter 2 cab that was in your chippy that had kind of screen burn out, it looks like an arcade screen. I mean, you'll definitely be able to get rid of, you can see the big kind of rainbow effect. If you tweak the settings, I would guarantee you can get rid of that. What you can actually do is, there's, if you just Google it, H A so the H S oh I can bloody remember H L S L. If you Google that um, meme, people have actually put up their I N I settings. So what you can do is you can download the download the meme dot I N I file and just try that. Um, but then you can mess about with it yourself. But there's a lot of people who have spent a lot of time getting it looking really really good. But I think depending on what game it looks better in some settings and other games it doesn't look quite so good. Now I think Dodo and Patchy looks really good with it. Again on the left it just looks too it looks too high tech, it looks kinda almost HD um too sharp for my liking. On the right hand side it looks like an old monitor. You actually think you were playing a proper arcade game with that screen. I think it looks cracking, it really does. Now I will show you at the end of this video, I'm actually, what I did was I recorded the games, I'm not actually playing them obviously, you can see there it's just demo mode, I just recorded them and I'm just now kind of talking over it. So yeah, like I says, it's not something that everybody's going to go for, but the best thing to do is, if you quite fancy it, check out, Google it, MAME HLSL, <laughs> it's, I says it's under options, uh, general options, 
and then it's under display and advanced I think it is so there's the Defender yeah I mean if you've ever I don't know if you've ever seen an original arcade game recently if you've been to any of the sort of play expos if you're used to playing MAME um, on a you know a, a computer screen you're going to be used to the graphics on the left hand side super sharp really vibrant looking but games didn't look that good back in the day they really didn't if you actually see them in the, on monitors you'll actually be you know, quite, I wouldn't say shocked, but you'll be very surprised at just how kind of washed out looking they were. And like I says, some people, if you want that authentic arcade look, um, I think this is perfect. Now this is one particular thing that really excels at vector games. The one on the left again is your normal super sharp vectors. The one on the right has got the kind of glowy visuals. Now you can actually tweak that quite a lot to make it look like it's you've got the kind of phosphor burn, you get the wee kind of glow. I think that looks absolutely fantastic, it really does. Oddly I couldn't I was actually looking for Star Wars and I couldn't find Star Wars in the version of MAME that supports this, but I'm sure it's probably just the, the incorrect ROM or something that I've got. And here's the daddy, here's my favourite Robotron twenty eighty four. Now again, it just looks it this looks far too good on the left. It, you know, it looks like it's not the proper thing. When you look at the one on the right hand side, I just think it looks excellent. Unfortunately this game, when it's running on on uh, demo mode, it never actually starts, so you don't actually get to see the game as such, but obviously I'm running two memes, you know, side by side here. <laughs> Even the fact that you can run two arcade games in one screen is just mind blowing as well. So that is Robotron, now very quickly I'll let you see the settings, basically when you're in any game, I'm going to jump to one screen coming up. Yep, there's Robotron. Press the tab button, which is the default one. You go down to slider controls, press return, and you can see there you've got master volume and that kind of stuff. You've got brightness. Now you can just use the cursor keys up or down. Now if you look at the screen, you will see it changing as I'm moving it. The gamma, that's getting brighter and sort of duller. You can obviously change the horizontal position, which is a default thing. Now the shadow mask, I notice it makes the black blacker it makes it dark kind of darker you can see there it looks quite dark go back in again slider settings you've got screen curvature this is excellent <laughs> in fact this one now this doesn't show up too well but the next one the image pin cushion you'll see here what it kind of does is it makes the screen look <laughs> fantastic Yeah, you can tweak various settings, like so, making it kind of darker as well. So I think that looks really, really good. That looks pretty arcade to me. So anyway, guys, listen, that is it. That is MAME HLSL. Go and check it out. And uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching.